animal adventure and for two of our animals from South America, that means a game of hide and seek. Hi Charlie, Hi. brought you some food. <gasps> Who are these two? So these guys are South American brown nosed Kawati. Um, down at the bottom we've got Tlula and up at the top is Ringo. So a boy and a girl. Yes. Oh, they're very cute. And what are we going to do today? Um, so today I just need a bit of help um, at hiding some food for them. Kawati are renowned for their great sense of smell, um, so it would be really great to see them digging up their food. They've got long noses, so I'm sure they'll put, it, put them to use. Let's go. Well, this is a great enclosure, Charlie. Lots of trees and wood around for the kawati to play in. Yeah, so if we head around this way, we can hide all the food in the ground under the wood chip. Okay, I've got some mealworms yep. here, some grapes and right. some chicken. So we're going to dig three holes and then we can put um, a different piece of food in each hole. Okay. And why do the kawati like digging for their food? Um, so in the wild, they'd have to look for insects and things in the ground under the undergrowth. Um, so it's fantastic to see them doing what they would do out there in the wild some chicken in there for them. So you've gave them a little combination of some fruit with the grapes, mealworms and some chicken as well. Yeah. Do they eat quite a varied diet? They do, they are omnivores so they would eat pretty much anything they can find but I think they're probably going to go for either the mealworms or the meat first because that's their favourite. Right, should we let them in? Go for it. Meal time. Jungle Kingdom 1 to Jungle Kingdom 2. <coughs> You're right to let the quality out now for us please. Problem. Ah, we have a Kuwati in sight. Yeah, that's Tallulah. Do you think she can smell that food from up there? I would imagine so, that she has got a great nose and she's she is pretty greedy. Here she comes. So she'll be using that nose right yeah, now. Yeah, you can see she's sniffing around she's straight found away. something right away. She's gone straight for the chicken. She'll probably shovel that in her mouth and then go on to the next pile. She knows there's something there for sure. Oh, Ringo's oh. having a look. He's using his nose to have a sniff, see what yeah, she's doing. Yeah, he's thinking about coming down. We've got some mealworms, grapes and chicken here, Ringo. Down you come. You can see the little nose yep. little wiggling. <laughs> <laughs> when they're sniffing out the food, that's cute. Uh, Ringo's gone straight for the grapes. Yeah, healthy option. <laughs> Food's that way. She's very nosy. <laughs> She's picked up our scent as well. Yeah, she can probably smell what we've got in our hands still. And they've got some little, little sharp teeth in there as well. Very that sharp, yeah. So they would go for small birds and rodents in the wild, so they do need to have quite a set of teeth on them to tackle them. So how do you think our little menu of mealworms, chicken and grapes went down? Well, she, Tallulah certainly went for the meat first, so it's really great to see for next time that um, that's what she likes, that's what she wants. <laughs> And how did the grapes go down? Ringo seems to be enjoying them. <laughs> he's tucking in still, so that's good to know for him. Look, he's really burrowing his nose into the wood chip. It's almost like his nose is another limb. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a hand to him. He pushes it all around with his nose, looking for the bugs. They both look very happy. I think we both know what their favourite meal is. I think so. Oh, thanks very much. You're welcome.